what's up what's up beautiful spicy queens hope you guys are doing great today your girl is back again with another video we just from church i got my beautiful sissy here Same so way, <laughs> okay call your name that's not it all. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Amelia. Okay. And for today's video, we're going to be doing a mukbang for you guys. I know you guys have not seen me doing mukbang on this channel, mm. but today we just decided to do a mukbang yeah. and we're going to be doing it with a seafood board. She already started eating. I, <laughs> yo, let me tell you something. I couldn't wait for her. She was taking forever. <laughs> We already started eating, so we're gonna be doing some Q and A questions. Yep. Today, so we gotta open the phone first. Zero four. Just point your hands to it. Take it down. This. 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 We want y'all to hear something. <laughs> mm. Okay, so with that being said, let's jump into the video. So we're going to be doing our Q&A questions. I'm going to be asking her questions and also she's going to be asking me questions. So we have a lot of questions here. It's just a friendly question, but we're not going to go through everything because that's, that's too much. Oh, yeah. So... But we're gonna do as much as we can. Yes, though. we're gonna ask some good questions. So let me put on my working yeah, suit. How about to <laughs> step in this thing? And I have my gloves here, and we do have our lemonade juice here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be going down with that. I know you guys see this bottle, but that's not what we're drinking yet. So don't <laughs> stop me, for us. Let me get it out of the way. <laughs> we're not doing the bottle, okay? So. But before mm. we go into it, guys, let me, let me tell you something. This is so good. Let me, talk, mm. let me, let me get a water. This is so this good. Water in it, if you don't love seafood or you're allergic to seafood, honey, you're missing out. <laughs> Where, Rennie? <are any>? Sure. <laughs> I love me some seafood. I'm not fairy yet. So oh. I'm back. I just want to pour water. Okay, so let me show you guys my food let me show you she gonna show her food okay so this is how inside look it's so juicy okay mine is almost done, juicy juicy don't come for me in so the comments so juicy so we're gonna pass that one to a tony okay so we back we're just doing a thumbnail so we back we're gonna start Step in this thing and do our uh, um, questions. We got to do the <laughs> zero four. It's April 18, 96. Okay. One eight nine six. Okay, so see my mouth. I can just I gotta and we have our sauce. Everything he makes in it so. That is juicy, you guys can see it's dripping. <laughs> so our first question, so she's gonna be asking me one, and then the last one she's gonna ask me. So we have like um 25 questions, but we're not gonna go in there. Okay? So the first one gonna be what emotion do you experience the most? emotion do I experience the most? Right, like emotion, like being emotional in something, I guess. Like it don't matter where, it just where's the yeah. most Well it, it was when my mom passed away. That was so like, uh -huh. yeah, that was in a good state of mind for me. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh yeah. That's it. For me it's the same um death thing when my auntie and grandma passed away 
don't get me wrong other family member passed away it gets to me but that was heavy because they were my two like family that i loved the most and they were so close to me oh so, yep yep and don't never pray for death because that's not something you even want to ever experience right it's hurt it hurt a lot it's so hurtful but yeah the good is yet to come she just stepping all <laughs> in this thing <laughs> Oh, let me see. Four, four, one, eight, six, nine. So why not open it? Y'all gotta bear with the phone, okay? Nine, six, nine, six, nine. You don't believe that one, six, Okay, so the next question. Yo, it's hot in here. Very we baking. hot. We got an air on and everything, but because I don't know what the degree today in Ohio. Ninety so like it's crazy out here. um what embarrasses you the most in front of other people <laughs> yo <laughs> what really embarrasses you the most Ooh. you don't want to go first i'm gonna go i can go first or right, go first so what really embarrasses me from um other people and when we're in a gathering i have like so many things that bother me uh, embarrass me but i'm just gonna hit the main point when we're in a gathering and like when we're in a conversation and i just be left up i be embarrassed i don't like it i guess you guys go through the same thing yeah i'm not gonna name all because we're not gonna move from here <laughs> so what embarrass you the most mm. you're ready for that this is good <laughs> So, you know, that's why when the other teacher and I was on the bed and stuff like that, she was like, you need to be traveling with Nita and Terry and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Because like <laughs> <laughs> you're thinking, all right. <laughs> no, that's not bad. Yeah. Because, you know now, all these mm. fat and stuff like that, so okay. I'll fit be... Well, I'll fit be responsible. So I'll fit be doing something that I'm not supposed to do, right. you so yeah, I think it was the church. Oh no, it was a party, yo. My pants bust on me. Can you believe that? Like I couldn't even go to the party itself because it was just in the car when I dressed everything, try to get in the car and then it ripped off. I couldn't like go to the party. I had to drop my cousin there off and then go home to change to come back. That was so embarrassing. Right. So um. So the fourth question is the third question, right? Mm -hmm. What do you love um, about yourself most? Yo, mm, this is good. What I love about myself the most is just that I don't know how to describe it, but it's just that something within me that keeps telling me like, hey, you gotta wake up and push for more. You gotta do this. You got more to do and stuff like that. You know, some people be like sitting down and be like, oh all is well and stuff like that but me there's certain things that i'm doing if, if, if it is not right something even tell me that like hey you know you shouldn't be doing this mm -hmm. yeah so for me i love everything about myself like i did not create it myself <laughs> god created me but i just love mm -hmm. everything about myself and the what i love most is being creative when i make something or create something i feel very good that's what i i'm very good at but and secondly i love to sing i love that about myself most yes i love that hey you already asked for two or three you asked for one right <laughs> so if you're gonna go there i'm gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so what has been your best movement this year so far mm, this is so good Probably her best moment. My best moving so far this year. Mm -hmm. That's not something I really want to tell you guys, but <laughs> you can get for R one. I think y'all want to know, like you don't have to. Just put it in. Like, mm -hmm. like things that I have prayed for right. long time ago is actually happening for me. Right. So like those are some of the things that my best movement that happened this year so far like okay. you know how when you get on your knees and cry for something so thing and then all of a sudden you just see it like oh i prayed for this years back and why is it happening now right 
I say I'm not gonna go into it for you guys. <laughs> so my best movement was something that I wanted to do ever since, Ooh. and I achieve it even though I've not fully yet uh, reached to where I wanted to be. But Honey, you're gonna be there. Yeah, but I've started. I started it in a bit a year now, and I still moving forward, and I see it growing. So. I'm happy for that. Yeah. So that's my. When you see mm. me on the phone, the light is the timer keep going on. Um. So so what the sixth question is. What motivates you to get up every morning? Well, that's the fifth question, right? Mm -hmm. No, the sixth question. I'm yeah. not even keeping track. That's the sixth question. We just asking, okay? No counting. So what motivates you to get up every morning? A lot of things motivate me to get up every morning. Like, because mm -hmm. I know where I want to be in life, I'm not there yet. Right. So for that reason, I know I got to wake up and put more effort. Right. That's what it is. Um, for me, I'm grateful every morning to God for waking me up. And... When I get up, I'm a young entrepreneur, so the first place I go is my business. Sometimes I don't even do all this necessary thing. I just go straight there for no reason. I just there. But what you mean you don't pray nothing? I do, but you know, my phone be with me. I even do it on my phone. I just sit and just okay. touch my phone. That's why I say when I get up. Yeah, like after I your let's personal go. thing, okay, yeah, then yeah. you just go to and the start I, your day. Yeah. Okay. I got you. Cause I was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so the the uh, the other one said, what would you like to change about yourself? Hmm. <laughs> what you like to change about yourself? Well, first, you <laughs> think about it, bro. For me, it's a lot. I'm not gonna change anything about myself. I feel everything about me is hundred percent good. You sure about that? Yes, because that's who I am. God made everybody different. Maybe some, sometimes I may say stuff and people don't like it. And I feel that I'm right. Because I'm just straightforward. I just say. Uh, and then sometimes maybe people may say I'm mean or I'm being selfish. No. Like, that's me. So, I don't think. There's anything that I change it by myself. Yep. For me, my mood swings. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Uh, if I could change that, that's something that? I really want to change because at the end of the day, I do have mood swings. And when my mood swings come or you don't like it, like, I can be the nicest person ever. And there's a time in my life I just want to be alone. Right. I just want to be by myself. I just want to do me. Oh, Don't talk to me. Can I try to open the phone, okay? We're using her phone when her timer is so short. The light go up quick. Ooh. It's good, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. You're amazing now, you So, our next question would be, if you could do anything for the rest of your life, what would that be? Mm. If I could do anything for the rest of my life, what would that be? Mm -hmm. Having a good relationship with God, like, going back to that first love. Right. Yeah. Because we as believers and Christians, sometimes we just go to God because we want certain things. And then once we get it, we forget about where we came from. Mm -hmm. So, like, that's something that I really want to do. Like, be there forever. Not only be there if I want something. Okay. Yes. Just as she said, that would be the same thing. Like, being right with God in every way. 
that why I'm not doing wrong, why am I, I'm not doing right. I want to do it right. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> I want to do it the best. Last mm. mm. mm -hmm. So, when you were little, what did you want to be? What you want to become when you were little? I always, always wanted to be a neosurgeon. Okay. And I know someday I'm going to go there. Right. I want to be a neosurgeon, y'all. For me, I wanted to be a, I always used to say I want to be an air hostess. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Back then we had a lot of stuff going on through the head. I just love it. But you see, I did not go by that. Because I used to like doing, I used to like, um, I admire them a lot. They are former dress code. But they are in a jumping Oh, door. you know why? She loved to dress. She loved to look good. <laughs> so, that's why that been her right. mindset from day one. But even though she's not in that field yet, but she still does the same thing. I still, yeah. <laughs> For, it, it, like, it's the same as business. Yeah. So I just still fall in that line, anyways. You all right, baby girl. You ain't yeah. wrong for that. Mm -mm. Cleanliness is best to what? Godliness, right. so. So what do you hope to achieve by 50, like? Ooh. What do you hope to achieve? When I'm at 50, yo, mm -hmm. I don't want to be working no more. Okay. I want everything that I ever labor for right. should be like upstanding. I just want to be that grandma that's going to be home okay. cooking, coming for Thanksgiving and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Everything just working out. Because you know when you, they say work when, when it is day, right? Mm -hmm. So when it's night, you don't have to be doing all of that. So at 50, I just want to be relaxing. Be that cute looking grandma. <laughs> Grandkids coming over, latches done, nails done. Oh my god. Head done. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, y'all already know. <laughs> yep. So by 50, I just want to achieve like everything that I ever wish for. Good family, good husband. Ooh, you cry with God. I just, I just want to be happy, like right. be in in a good place that I can lay my hair, get your own hair, house, like just relax yeah. and just be grateful for everything. Yeah, basically it's the same thing. Like right. just work when, like right now, while we stay young, and then by that time, we're just gonna be like in the chill zone. Yeah. Like, even though it is, you can get tired of working, but like I just want everything to just, to just be in place. Yeah. Yep. To be in place. And what do you, what do you fear about getting older? What's your fear about getting older? <laughs> death. Oh I my swear God. To God. My greatest fear in life is death. Mm -mm. That's something I don't want to experience. But then before we go, I don't know for what I have learned. It's mm -hmm. like there's no way we can go to God and set you death. <laughs> I don't know. My greatest fear mm -hmm. is death. I don't want to die. I'm sorry. For me, I don't want to get older and then I be in a nice home. I want to be older and just be happy. Yeah. That's my fear. I don't want to be like handicapped. Even though he has the people that are there right now. It's not their fault. But it's not easy just sit in one place. I know and can't do nothing for yourself. That's true too. Like yep. it's scary. Yep. You knowing yourself doing you and then all of a sudden you gotta wait for somebody to give you a shower. Right. That's crazy. Very very. Mm. Mm. Yo. I'm tearing this out. Look. Gradually. And this one is funny. What was the most memorable toy you play with from when you were little? <laughs> For me, it was a Barbie doll. Right. Me too, I used to mm. like Barbie doll. And I used to like back. And you know that? Boy. <laughs> you know, for the Barbie doll, they had the, um, 
the one that was like mm. taller than me at the time right and then you talk to everything <laughs> yeah. i feel that dog that's how i got a fake hair because i always used to put on the dog hair you know, all my and then make some outfit for the dog too yeah. i used to do that all my babies i like them with hair yep that was my favorite toy. I think every girl loves Bobby. Some girls don't. Really? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I suggest some girls want to be riding bicycle, want to play with boys. Mm hmm. Go play soccer and stuff like that. So we have, we got three more questions and we're going to be done with you, okay? <laughs> if you had to be on a reality TV show, which one would you choose? Um, yeah. If you had to be on a reality TV show, which one would you choose? Love and Hip Hop, honey. Love and Hip Hop? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't even know. <laughs> I think I would choose um, The Real Housewife <laughs> of Atlanta. I love that drama. <laughs> I love him. Yeah. I would like to be there. Like, you um, said he looking cute. Yep. And listening and camera on me. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, this other one say, if you would live anywhere in the world for a year, where will you live? That's not even gonna end for your mouth, Dubai. Dubai? <laughs> I swear to God. I used to say I wanna go uh um uh um what the place in Ezra. Oh that's where I wanna go. Yeah, that makes sense. I would choose there because I want to see all those things right that happen. Right. Where Jesus in the tomb, where the sword. I want to experience, you know, like I be hearing people saying it and pastor preach on it and I be seeing it in the Bible. I want to, I want to touch it for, I just want to touch it. Yeah. For me, I want to go there for like a vacation or for a tour and stuff like that. And but I, I don't live there. And I pray that. It's going to happen someday. Yes. Maybe we're gonna be taking it together. I'm you never can sure. tell. <laughs> I will go there. I I I I can stay there for a year. Like being in the presence. Like I right. can make up for everything. I, everything. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is good. This is the main part. This is what you take up for the curve. Mm. And then you soak it in the juice. Oh. And then you put that down the throat. Look at that. Mmm. <laughs> uh. That is not good. <laughs> And I'm gonna add some lemon on it. Yo, this girl, she loves food. Don't see me looking big. And she's... Uh, she just posed herself. <laughs> <laughs> Look up for us. Yo. And all, so, the, all the food she eating, you know why you're going in her foot. You ready? Mm -hmm. That's what we say. Well, <laughs> that's what you tell them. When you know you can eat. Mm -hmm. mm. All the food going in her foot, yo. But when it comes to seafood, I love seafood. And seafood, I don't know if it make you fat or, or not. I don't know, but they got some people that are allergic to it. That's how I be like, hmm. how you doing with their allergies and well, stuff like that? You missing out, honey. Like, you missing out, out. You don't know what you missing, like. You be allergic to crap. This. Some people don't know how to eat it anyways. Where I'm from, they say you don't eat crab with shame. Yeah. So... See me cracking on the bones or mm -hmm. whatever it is, the shell. Mm -hmm. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then we don't even have to think in the um, crack it up. Well, right. Like knife? No. The scissors? Yeah. And all the... That, that's the mistake. I have the scissors, but I ain't bring it. Um, so we gotta do it with our hands. Yeah. I can still grab it if you want it. Mm-mm. We good. Okay. Um... What is one thing you are deeply proud of in your life? What, what are you proud of? Well, a couple of years back, where I'm at right now, I wasn't there. Right. Like, that's to say, basically, emotionally, um, mentally, every way, mm -hmm. like, I wasn't there. Okay. Like, now, I think I'm getting there. I'm not to the place I want to be yet, but I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. Like I showed it mentally, cause yeah, I ain't wanna go. Cause if I stop, 
<laughs> We're gonna move for yeah, yo. Mm. But yeah. So far, so good. I'm proud of a lot of stuff. That's right. There's a whole lot to be proud of. You Whether for... the high or the low, I'm proud because some of the things that I feel that if I was just going to be a mommy or a daddy girl, I was never going to achieve it on my own. Yeah. But I'm proud, like, I went through it and I make it happy. Even though it's not all my hometown person. I'm still, like every day I do stuff, I'm proud of myself. And I even sit down to myself in the mirror like, I'm proud. <laughs> like, I'm proud. Yeah, especially when I do something and I, I just stare at it like, mm, I'm proud of myself, I did this. Yep. Or you, you wish for mm. something in your head and every time you keep saying it to yourself, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And then when the day you do it, you'll be proud of yourself. <laughs> Comment like, down below and tell me. What have you done? What have you proud done? Of? Are you proud of? Yo, one of, the, one of the things that I was really proud of was because when I started driving, I, my fear was the highway. Like, right. I was so afraid of driving on the highway. But then this day, I was coming from school, and they, my dad, you know, my dad used to do, used to like drop me off, and then I go beg people to bring me back. Right. But then this day, he had class that he couldn't like oh. take me. So I had to do it on my own. I'm telling you, y'all. Right. When I did that, I was like, damn, I can do this. And ever since then, I started driving on the highway. I don't even do local road like that no more. Mm. So, yeah. Okay. And that feelings that come to you after you, like, that she said, like, there's something that you wanted to do, or like, you like, oh, did I just do this? It's, I don't know how to describe that feeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, the last question. Oh, we're going to leave you guys. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta get rid of all this. <laughs> Y'all want that for the camera, right? <laughs> the last question is How do you get rid of stress? Me. How do you get rid of stress? I tell people I like um the sound of rain and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like every night I sleep to that. Mm -hmm. So like I like water as a whole. Okay. So like sometimes when I stress and stuff like that. I just want to relax and just listen to that. Mm. Yeah. More relaxing and listening to the sound of the water or the rain. Mm -hmm. It just, and just meditate on life. Like, how can I get out of this? Right. That's my secret. For me, it's, it's singing. Listening to music. When I stress, I just put music on this. Listen to it. I put a song on that I know. And get myself into that mood, and I will just start thinking. Yeah, and trust me, I forgot about everything that ever happened. Let music bring joy. I do. And I love to sing, so that's what really gets me. Music. Yep. So that's all the questions mm -hmm. we have to say today. And this move, this move bank is so good. Oh, this crab, the lobster. And, and comment back, comment down below if you guys want to see more of these videos yes. and stuff like that. We're gonna be doing it for you. Give me your view. Yeah, just comment down below. What are some of the things you guys want us to be doing? Right. We're gonna make it happen. I don't want you guys to just watch it, enjoy the fun, and don't subscribe. And don't comment. Comment, hit that like button. Don't share. Post, for, post notification. Do all the good stuff, y'all. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Don't just sit there. Do something. Okay. And I'll sit there and be like, oh. <laughs> mm -mm, don't do that. <laughs> Help a sister out. <laughs> Build each other, okay? I'm talking to you. Like this video. No, <laughs> <laughs> mom. No. So, I think so far so good. You got anything to say? Any words to say? Any words to say to my spicy queens family? Mm. You got anything to say to us? Or you just I just want to say thanks. Thank you guys for like having me here. That's it. Okay. We, you know, we love people. We share. Right. Thank you guys for having me here. I appreciate it. And then 
Mm. Yeah. Okay. At least some of you guys got to know me. <laughs> right? Okay. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching. That's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy our mukbang and our questions. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And hit that bell for more videos. Share this video. And you guys, I want you guys to comment, okay? If you, have, if you are new to this channel, welcome to the Spicy Queen family. If you are all you guys already know. So don't just watch the video if you are new. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. We love you. <laughs>